Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Pied Shag, a slim black and white seabird that is making a recovery from past times in central New Zealand. I hope you enjoy. Birds are often seen individually or in small groups roosting on rocky headlands or in trees. They mainly inhabit coastal areas around much of New Zealand, and can also be regularly seen around harbours and estuaries. Similar species include the pied morph of the little shag, which is noticeably smaller and has a shorter yellow beak. Both the king and pied morphs of the Stewart Island shag have black heads with a white throat, and as such can be quite difficult to differentiate if you don't know what to look for. As mentioned, birds have a large coastal breeding distribution, occurring in three separate areas of New Zealand. Northern North Island colonies live in the western and eastern coasts of Northland and Auckland, and extending down to East Cape, and in central New Zealand live in Wellington, Nelson, Marlborough and Canterbury, and as far south as Banks Peninsula, and in southern New Zealand they inhabit Fiordland and Stewart Island. Birds mainly nest in trees along coastal cliffs, but mostly nest around freshwater lakes near the coast. Clutches can be laid in all months, with peaks during February and April and August to October. Clutches typically contain two to five eggs, and both sexes share incubation and care of the young. Chicks start flying at seven to eight weeks of age, and remain at or near the colony to be fed by their parents for a further 10 to 11 weeks. Birds are typically solitary foragers, but will congregate into small groups when prey is readily available. Pied shags mainly feed on fish and occasionally crustaceans, including mullet, eel, perch and wrasse. After feeding, like other shags, they will sun themselves on rocky outcrops to dry their plumage, so that when they fish later, their feathers are in better condition to dive the 10 metre depths they typically feed at. While counts of pied shags, along with other coastal species, have been undertaken in a few areas like at Wellington Harbour or the Marlborough Sounds, no attempt has been made to carry out a national count of the species or number of pairs at all colonies. However, the population in 2012 was estimated to number 1,000 to 5,000 mature individuals, and after examination of the number of pairs at colonies during three periods, pre-1980, 1980-1999, and post-1999, with the data suggesting that populations in the northern North Island and southern South Island are in decline, with those in central New Zealand on the increase. There are, however, a variety of threats to pied shags. They were formerly shot on occasion by fishers, who considered them to be competition, although since pied shags are rare, they were often not the main targets. They are also vulnerable to long lines, set nets and cray pots, and some birds have been affected by oil spills, including the grounding of the container ship Rainer off Tauranga in 2011. During the recent population expansion in central New Zealand, pine shags that have established colonies near people's homes have resulted in some nesting trees being felled due to the noise and smell, but hopefully the pine shags can continue to coexist with us. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Fairy Prion, a burrowing petrel that is the smallest of its group. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.